Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to talk to you guys about how I set up some parts after I made a video a while back about how I do full paint jobs and one of my subscribers actually asked me how I set up some of my parts and so that's why I want to make this video. I want to show you guys how I set some of my parts up and let's go. I do full paint jobs and if you guys want to check that video out I'll link it right here for you guys to check it out and one of my subscribers saw how I set up some of my door handles and he asked me he was like how did you set up your door handles so I messed back and forth with him and I explained to him how I do it and what I used to do it and he was super happy and excited about the technique that I used so I felt like maybe this was something I could share with you guys that could be useful for you guys to use in your paint job so let me show you how it is that I set up my parts. And this is basically the same style of paint job that I did. It's almost a full job. I have to paint all the door handles. I have two bumpers. I have two bumpers to paint. I have a door. I have to paint all of the door handles, the mirrors, the gas cap lid, all the door handles and I have a new fender. And this is the same style paint job that I did in my full paint job video. I'm gonna show you guys how I set up the door handles, what I used to set them up, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my parts. Now I also have a video that I made on tools that every paint shop should have, and I'll link it right here for you guys to check it out, where I include some of these tools and some of these equipment that I use to set up my parts. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see, I got my door handle set up all on this horse. Now, I have two different horses or stands that I have set these door handles on and they're standing straight up. Now, let me show you. I have them on clamps. Now, these are clamps that you can get from Home Depot or any hardware store that sells clamps. They're basically just clamps that they use for woodworking. Now, I'm gonna show you how I got them set up. I'm gonna show you how I put them on the stand. Okay, so I'm going to remove it to show you how I put it on the stand real quick. I always use wire cutters because I have these tied up with zip ties. Okay, so real quick. This is the door handle that I'm painting. See how the door handles have these things over here. I don't know what to call them, but they're basically what helps put the door handle back on the car. and open the door so I use these clamps these clamps are basically just regular clamps that you get from hardware store these are basically from Home Depot they're very inexpensive and so I use these clamps to clamp the door handle basically right around here so I clamp them on just like that see that and then what I do is I zip tie right through here and lock it in to the stand. Let's put it on the stand. See, so I slide this over here right in between the pole of the stand. And I get a zip tie, a nice long zip tie. Stick it through here. And then I lock it in, and there you go, and that's it. See that? And the reason I like to use this technique is because when the door handles are sitting up this way, I can see how much clear I'm getting on either side. So this is very convenient for me. I could get, I could get on the sides of the door handles. I could get behind the door handles, nice, even clear coat. And I could just go around and paint both sides. See, so like this, I get the tops and I know how much clear I'm getting. But if it's like this, then I have to basically squat all the way down here 
and kind of get down here to spray the clear and see how much clear I'm getting on there. But if it's standing up, but if it's standing up like this, the way I have it set it up here, I can get both sides of the door handle and not risk getting any dryness in the clear on the bottom of the door handle or on the sides. This is just a way better way of doing it. So I'm gonna show you, you can also do these on the other stands as well. Now you can also use a regular stand. Now what I mean with a regular stand is a regular shop stand, let me show you. Like this, a regular stand like this. This is a regular shop stand. You just have to use the same technique. You get a clamp, some zip ties, put the door handles on it. Same thing on this stand that I did on the other one. You get your door handle, you clamp it on. A little tight, there you go. And that's it. Now I do the same thing for the little door handle caps. You see that, they're right here. They have a little lip on the edge of them and I just clamp right on that lip. So check this out. This is the little cap that goes right next to the door handle. See this little, this little extra lip it has right here? This is where I clamp it on. Right there. And it's done. Ready to go, ready for paint. Now right here, I have my mirror. And so what we did for the mirror is that my coworker likes to set it up like this where he gets a quart can that we have to mix the paint and then he just tapes everything up. So what he does is he tapes up the bottom of the mirror to a cork can and then he tapes it up to this stand and it holds it in place to have some leverage when you're painting it to get on here real good. See this? The gas cap lid, all we did was tie it down with zip ties. Just like that on the stand. Now you can do all this on the other stand that I showed you, just the same. You don't need a special stand, a regular stand will do. And I have the mirror here, same, same thing. It's taped up from the bottom, right up against the inside, on a cork can, and taped up onto the stand. And then we have this. Okay, so let me show you real quick why this is so convenient. Now remember, I already talked about how the handle is standing upwards like this easier to get both sides the way that this is set up. I'm just gonna spray it real quick. I'm gonna show you what I mean. That way you can see how convenient this technique is. So as you can see how easy it is to get the front. It's just as easy to get the back of the door handle this way. Easy access to both sides and the size of the door handle. See that? Works nice. Perfect. I hope you guys like this technique that I'm showing you. All right, I gotta turn the booth back on because this booth doesn't work. The air doesn't work without this booth being on. And I have to turn it off to talk to you guys. So, back to work. for helpful if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye